Hello, my name is Maureen and I am a senior application engineer with Materialize. In this video, I will show you how to add myocardium to your heart model using 3MATIC. When using the hollow tool in 3MATIC to create a hollowed heart model, you assume a uniform wall thickness. But for certain cases, you may want to represent the patient's actual myocardial thickness around the ventricles, and we are going to show you how to do this. We'll start with the segmentation of the myocardium. To start, we will click on the New Mask button and choose a threshold range that accurately captures the myocardium. We clear the mask and then manually select the region of the myocardium using the 3D Interpolate tool. You do not need to worry about staying perfectly in, within the boundaries because we will be applying a thresholding operation to this selected region. After marking everything, we can scroll through the images to make sure that the interpolation is correct. We can then perform a region growing operation to make sure there are no loose particles in the mask. Once the mask is created, rename it to myocardium and then use the calculate part tool to calculate a 3D object. Once the part has been calculated, we will take it over to the Thrematic software to do some smoothing and to add it to the hollowed heart model. We will select Control C on the keyboard, select the myocardium 3D object, and click OK. Then Control V in Thrematic to paste it in. The first thing we will do is a wrap from the fixed menu. We're going to set a fairly large gap closing distance to fill in all of the holes on the surface of the model and a fairly large smallest detail to get a smooth surface. In this example, we will use 4 millimeters for the gap closing distance and 1.5 millimeters for the smallest detail. Under the Finish menu, use the local smoothing tool to further smooth out the surface. If you would like, you can also do a reduce operation from the Fix menu if the local smoothing tool does not seem to be very effective. Reducing the number of triangles can increase the amount that the tool smooths. Now that the smooth myocardium model is prepared, let's take a quick look at the hollowed heart model. Note that we have not cut open the hollowed heart model after hollowing it. This is important for this workflow to work properly. For the next step, we are going to use the local Boolean tool from the design menu to combine these two models together. We will select the myocardium wrapped part as entity one and the outer surface of the hollowed model as entity two. Be careful to make sure that you select the outer surface of the hollowed heart model and not the entire part. Set the method to union so that the tool will join the part and surface together. Note, selecting only the outer surface of the hollowed heart model will ensure that the internal surface or intracardiac anatomy of the heart is not changed during the operation. Rename the resulting model hollowed heart with myocardium. If we were to cut this model open, it now has the actual myocardial thickness of this patient instead of just an assumed uniform value. We recommend copy pasting this part back into Mimics so that you can turn on the contour lines to see how the outer contour of the myocardium corresponds to the images. If you want to manually adjust it further, you can use the contour editing tool in the 3D tools menu. 